I'm Todd Lansinger. I'm the manager of the Ultimate Ears Custom Studio. I'm going to show you how we make these custom in-ear monitors. These are used by professional musicians, audiophiles, and just uh, people that like good music. I'm going to give you a tour of how we make these. This is the custom studio. There are 15 technicians here who go from this ear impression to these final monitors. We make custom in-ear monitors and everybody's ear is unique and different, just like your fingerprint. So what this is, this is a silicone impression of your ear. It tells us what your ear anatomy looks like. It's made out of a soft silicone and we use it to make a shell that fits inside your ear. So we go from here to here and that's what I'm gonna show you today. Okay, here we are at the Shell Lab where we make the outer case for your in-ear monitors. Let's go in. The first step in the process is to take that rough impression and remove some of the excess material. After we've removed some of the excess material, we create a silicone cast. This cast preserves that impression so that we always know what your ear looked like when you took that impression. It's got your initials and serial numbers. This stays here forever. This is archived. We have a, a wall of archived impressions and silicone casts. Once we have a silicone cast of your impression, we go through a process called impression detailing. And that's a very hands-on, very intricate skill where we take the impression and we, we modify it. We use this small little tool here, looking at the anatomy, and we taper the tip of the canal, and we also work by shaping the helix of the canal. We do this because ultimately we're going to use these impressions to create the shell, and the shell needs to fit very tightly in your ear. The next step of the process. After we've detailed the impression, we do a process where we take the overall impression and dip it in the hot wax. That creates an overall coating. The reason that we do that extra wax is our monitors are going to fit tightly in your ear canal and they're going to seal out the ambient noise. We take that waxed impression and we create a colloid cast. This cast is then used to create the shell. And we can make a shell of almost any color, the color of the rainbows. We can add glitter to the shell. We can make camouflage shells. We pour the liquid into the shell and we put it into this machine. It cures it from the outside in, pour out the excess, put it back in for final curing. And there you go, you have a shell that looks like that. And you can see how close the shell matches the impression. Here we are at the 3D laser scanner. This is a second method that we use to create the shells that are ultimately going to be stuffed with the electrical components. What we do instead of the hand waxing process is we take the detailed impression, we put it on this little post and we have a machine here. It's a 3D laser scanner and we end up with a 3D digital image of the actual ear impression. From this digital image, we can make a shell using an SLA process. It's a very unique process where you get a very fine resolution plastic model based out of a bath of UV resin and a laser. We still need to do some work on this shell to make it uh, ready to accept the electrical components that we're going to be putting in here. We take the shell and we grind off the outside. We call that the face plate. We drill holes through the canal to allow the drivers to port up through the canal. We also cut a notch for the socket and we actually cut a 30 thousandths ring around the perimeter put it on a glass plate and use the same liquid resins that we use to create the shell to create the faceplate. And each faceplate is then unique for your individual monitor. We're about done making the shell. It's time for us to go out and stuff it with the electrical components. Here we are at the next step in the process. These are the drivers that are inside the monitors. Uh, by driver, I mean it's like a, a miniature speaker. The 
these produce the sound that you're going to hear in your custom in-ear monitors. We take great pride in knowing that every time that we send out a monitor, a UE11 sounds like the next UE11. If you bought a monitor uh, two years from now, you'll get the same sound that you had on your first set. Here we are now at the shell closing station. This is where we put the faceplate on the monitors and seal it up and make it look nice and pretty. This is not something the machine can do. These are handmade. This is, this is an art. And now on our tour, we are at the graphics area. This is where we put on the serial numbers and we also create your custom case. And if you want, we'll put artwork on also. Each monitor gets the monitor model, serial number, and initials placed on. We have left, blue, red, right. We have the ability to put on photo quality images onto the back side of these monitors. We can do things like flags, pictures, symbols, your name. There are rhinestones. Skulls are popular. Your favorite sports team. This is the, the final product. You're going to get a custom carrying case that has your name on it. You'll also get a small carrying case, wax removal tool and manual, and your own cord. Once we're complete with your set of monitors, they go through the steps of final quality control and shipping, and then they're out the door to you. We've got one more thing to show you. It's where we keep an archive of everybody's impression in silicone casts. Let's head out to the warehouse. Here we are in beautiful, sunny Irvine, California. This is where we keep an archive of everybody's silicone cast and impressions. So if you order a second set of monitors, we can come back, pull your impressions, and get going and make you another set. So that's the tour. That's how we go from your ear impression to your custom in-ear monitors. I hope you like what you saw.